Hi, I'm Davila Thompson, a sales engineer from Squiz. Thanks for joining me for Build, Optimize, and Scale. If you've joined this webinar and you're a marketeer trying to get campaigns or sites ready fast to hit your targets, why are you likely not getting there? What's holding you back? It's probably something to do with waiting in a developer queue to get anything built or updated, not really knowing what content performs the best, and not being able to reuse and scale content and designs efficiently. We believe you should be able to do all of it without writing a single line of code. Today, you're going to see how easy it is for teams like yours to achieve this without relying on a developer. Today's agenda, we will cover how to build a web page using an intuitive visual page builder, set up an A-B test at lightning speed to optimize the site and page performance, and scale by easily reusing content and designs across your sites. Some housekeeping first, this webinar is being recorded. You will receive a copy through email. Please submit any questions in the ask a question bar anytime during this session, and we'll be answering questions at the end of the session. All right, let's begin. I'll start with showing you how content and marketing teams can build and launch new web pages quickly using the visual page builder in the Squiz DXP. You get the simple tools you need to move fast, and it makes a huge difference to your everyday life as no code is needed, eliminating bottlenecks caused by lengthy developer queues. This is the page we're going to be building. It has this hero banner. It also has these cards with some popular information and call to actions. And it also has a form to register for our webinar with a multi-step action. In our visual page builder, we're going to start with a blank page. With the Squiz DXP, marketers can quickly assemble pages using pre-built building blocks we call components. Components can simply be drag and dropped into any place, allowing marketers to build pages very, very quickly. Components can include accordions, call to actions, image galleries, and so on. Pre-built components used in the majority of sites are available straight out of the box. This gets you kicked off from day one. Or if you need more customized components, your developers can use a Squiz component service to quickly spin up components and add them to this library. To start off with, for our page, I'll add the hero banner. I'll add some content. And I'll also add an image to show up on this banner. Great. You can instantly see in our preview screen how it's going to look. Next, I'm going to add another component, that info section with the popular links and call to actions. I'll populate this now. And great. Next, what I'm going to do is now add another component, which is our form. So Squiz Advanced Forms allows you to embed forms anywhere on your pages or your sites or your searches. So I'm going to reuse a form we already have, and I've pasted the embed code here. You can also reorder the components with the drag and drop on your page in real time to test out different layouts. And when you want to just add simple text, the text blocks includes a WYSIWYG editor, so you can format text within the guardrails of your design system. Now I'll save our page and we can see how we have all of those four starting components on our page ready to go. And our embedded form renders nicely with the multi-step actions. Now you have all the text, images, and assets you need assembled on the page. Next, in the metadata section, you can add SEO content to improve search ranking. You can also add your social content here for easy sharing to platforms like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and more. This content can be dynamically generated based on the page's details or customized by editors. Within the URL tab, you can add different URL paths as needed. This can help you enhance SEO and boost page ranking or streamline campaign tracking and craft user-friendly URLs. And that's it. You've now launched a new web page in minutes without needing a developer. Now I'm going to show you how you can easily optimize a campaign page using simple A-B testing tools. Use A-B testing in the page builder to understand what content on your page performs best and make educated data-driven decisions. You can use the A-B testing tool to test what content, images, call to actions, or even forms perform best. In this case, our aim is to get as many customers to sign up to our registration form. We want to test if having fewer form fields will reduce friction and increase registrations. To start the experiment, you go to the component that contains the registration form. To create a test, we're going to connect this component to an A-B test. With A-B testing built in, we can create our test within the Squiz DXP. 
You can configure A-B tests to determine things like the title and description of the experiment, your different variations that you're going to test, how traffic is distributed between those different variants, what the success metrics are for your test, and when the test is going to start and end. And if you don't know how long to run the experiment for, don't stress, simply use the built-in calculator to get a recommendation based on your site metrics and goals. Now we've configured our A-B test, so I'm going to now apply it to our page. We'll connect it to our component. The blue box indicates the A-B test has been applied to this component, and we can switch between our different variants. I'll open up variant B, and I'll paste the embed code for a form that has three fields. These forms are all built with Squiz Advanced Forms within just a few minutes using our drag and drop form builder. Okay. Now that I've saved it, we can compare our variant A form, which has multi-steps and more form fields on that second page. And our second variant, which we can just drop between our different variants here, has a single step form, no call to action button. It has conditional logic to hide the mobile and email fields. Now, once the experiment is complete, you can review the results. In this case, variant A, the form with multiple steps, showed a 50% improvement over version B in registrations. Version A drives better conversion outcomes. You can continuously test different iterations of the page by running more tests until you're satisfied with the results. Future tests you can perform on this or other future pages, including removing content from the page, changing images or content copy, changing the call to action, or even personalizing content using geotargeting. When it's this easy to use, marketers and content teams can independently drive performance improvements quick smart without relying on developer support. Now I'm going to show you how you can replicate and scale your best performing content and pages across sites built on Squiz or other third party CMSs. Marketers stay in control of their brand and manage content at scale while content authors work efficiently. You can templatize and scale common pages, so you can turn a common page type into templates that your team can reuse across all your sites. Here you can simply drag and clone your new content. This allows us to reuse pages really quickly, so you can move with speed when publishing new pages. Perhaps you need to clone three new pages at once. No problem, you can use the mass clone to clone as many pages as you need. Content editors automatically stand brand thanks to the design system. All new pages will automatically have the design elements applied, such as this header with a different site logo. We can also change content once and reflect it everywhere using the link option instead. That's how you can easily replicate and scale your best performing content and pages across sites. So what you've seen here is how easy and fast it is for you to independently launch and optimize a new web page without needing a developer to help. I built this web page using a visual page builder in SquizDXP. I set up an A-B test to really understand what's working and apply the results. And I scaled by reusing content and designs. This can be done across many of your sites. You don't have to be held back from getting your job done any longer. No more waiting in developer backlogs to spin up a website campaign or make changes. You can have the tools you need to deliver brilliant experiences fast yourself, no matter how technical you are. And that's the end of the demo. We'll be running regular demos like this going forward. If you enjoyed this session, please share them with your team or network so they can attend the next one. Check out your inbox for a follow-up email with details on future demos like this and other use cases. And if you're keen on a more custom demo specifically for your needs, we'd love to do one for you. Just drop us an email at ask at squiz.net. Now let's go through any questions you have. So we've got some questions coming in. Um, I can see them here in the Q&A. Feel free to keep sending them in. Um, so first question, is there a way we can test this out? Um, so if you're referring to whether you have access to this particular feature, so all the features that we have here, um, yeah, definitely. So if you already have the Squiz DXP, um, you can talk to your account manager. You probably have access to test these out right away in your current uh, tools. Or if you're new to Squiz, we can provide you with maybe a custom demo and just discuss your requirements to get you started using these tools based on your use cases. All right, another one is, uh, let's see, how many A-B tests can I perform on a page at the same time? This is actually a really good question because sometimes you get really excited and want to perform a lot of experiments, but 
I would only recommend one experiment running on a page at one time. The A-B test is really there to just confirm that the page content or the structure is helping to achieve your chosen conversion path. So we wouldn't recommend having more than one test on a page because you want the experiment to run successfully uh, without being impacted by another experiment on the page. You want to run it in isolation, essentially. Um, I saw the button to personalize the component. How does that work? Yes, so personalization is another native capability in our page builder. We want it to be easy for you to show different content to different audiences. And actually the next demo in the series that we're doing now with Squiz um, is going to be all about personalization and tailoring your content to those different audiences, all from that same single interface that I just demoed. So keep following Squiz to find out when you can register for that demo. Um, are there any AI tools to help with A-B testing? Yes, actually our product team are just about to release a new Gen AI tool right into the editing interface. It's gonna automatically generate content based on your organization's content style rules. So it just means that your content teams, you, you're gonna give them the ability to benefit from those generative AI capabilities that we're seeing all over the market, you know, chat GPT being one of them. Uh, but they can use them within your organization's guardrail. So you still can stand brand and they can also publish new content faster. And it will work with the A-B testing, with the personalization. It's pretty much just going to work within that component editing screen. Um, okay, let me look at other questions. So how can I integrate with Google Analytics? How does this work? Uh, yes, in the DXP, we can definitely integrate your tracking um, requirements with Google Analytics or any other third-party analytics tracking tools that you might have. That is a pretty standard implementation that we do with all of our sites um, on the Squiz DXP. It's just using standard embed options so you can make sure that you align that conversion tracking that you're using on those other digital surfaces. Um, you're also using them with the Squiz DXP as well. Let's see a few more. Um, do you have any example businesses that are using the Squiz DXP? Um, yes. We have a lot of other businesses that are using it. We actually have many different industries that are currently um, using the Squiz DXP, and that's across not just the UK, but the US and Australia. We do have these case studies on the Squiz website. Um, we call them the customer stories. You can go and check the entire list there of all the different use cases. Um, you can filter by different industry to see which one uh, most aligns with you. And then you can see what problems or pain points they had before Squiz and then what the value we brought to each organization. I won't list every business now. That would take uh, a really long time. Um, okay, another one. If we subscribe to the Squiz DXP, do we get access to all the tools in this demo? Are there extra costs for add-ons? So absolutely, um, you do get access to everything that we just showed. So I showed you the CMS, optimized tools, um, and there's a component service as well that builds those components out. You get access to all of those and more capabilities that we have, such as search, the, our CDP, which is our customer data platform. We have a data and file storage and integration platform. So you get access to all of those capabilities when you're um, subscribing to the Squiz DXP, but it's all based on usage metrics for each tool. So you can use all the tools straight away, but you might not be paying um, top dollar for each of the tools. You're just really paying for what you use and you can scale up your usage on each one as you need to. Um, and final one, how quick is the page load? That's a really good question. Um, because page load is really important. And if you have a lot of content on there, um, it really depends on how fast it loads. I'm sorry, the factors on how it's loading is kind of built on how the page is actually built. So the Squiz DXP will load pages to those typical industry standards that most websites have to adhere to. And that's a couple seconds or less. And Squiz always aims for much less than that. Um, and the reason we can deliver that is just because of our caching layer. So we use Cloudflare, if you're um, familiar with it, it's our the deliver, delivery network tool that we use. And um, we've partnered with them to deliver some cutting edge caching globally. So if your content is hosted in the UK, uh, someone in Australia can load it really quickly. And that's all due to the caching layer on top of there. Um, okay, I feel like that is all the questions that we have. Um, if we, if you have any more, feel free to continue to use this email right here that you've got on the, um, on the slide right here, ask at squiz.net. 
And as a reminder, this webinar is being recorded, so you'll receive the link in your email. Um, thanks for joining me today. I hope to meet some of you soon in a future demo. Thanks.